Hey, this is Bishop Hall and welcome to another episode of This Is My Day. I have had the opportunity to call so many people. And sometimes some of the stuff that they bring to me, I'm like, Jesus, then is that your out for losing your mind over? When the truth is, they are going through something so small. And if I was to tell them what I was going through, they would just drop down. And sometimes I'm tempted to tell them, but the Lord says, don't do it. Because it might look like a little lump to you, but to them it's a mountain. I want to talk to you about hidden chapters. There are some folks who are going through some stuff. And sometimes when they are trying to vent it to us, we, we feel the need to tell them our troubles too. No, it's not your time. Okay, it's their time. Help them out. Your time will come. One surgery at a time. What do you say? Let's talk. See you soon. Hey guys, bless you, bless you, bless you. Uh, Bishop Hall here. Wow, this is very deep. It sounds simple, but it's very deep. In counseling, I was, um, you know, when, I, when we do what you call it now, the marriage thing that we have um, every year, but we didn't have it last year because of the pandemic. We have um, renewing the, rekindling the fire of love. Woo. And there was one topic that I normally talk about. It has to do mainly with, you know, conversation and all of that, because conversation is very important. If you don't convert, love a relationship where it's like conversation is like the blood flowing through your body yeah and if there's no conversation with a couple it's just gonna be destroyed you know so we're teaching them how to talk to each other and all of that and we were saying that sometimes when one person comes with like a man would come up and he would start to open up and he would say, you know, I am not happy when you say this. It really hurt me. All right. So he has taken out his heart. He has placed it on the table. Mm -hmm. No, it is now the job of both of them together to try and fix and heal that heart. But that never normally happens. What normally happens? You hurt? Well, me hurt too. Because when you do this and that and that and that and that and that, I hurt too. Yeah. So the, uh, so the woman starts saying, well, I hurt too. And when you do so and so and so and so, I hurt too. So now, the situation turn up now. Because the man put him heart on the table. And you take out your heart put on the table too. So now the surgeon going to have to work on two hearts at the same time. No surgeon that good. You understand? So, I suggest that you develop the art of actually listening. Show empathy. Show compassion. Show mercy and deal with just that one thing. And for once in your life, forget about yourself and take care of that person. Well, somebody is saying, why are you giving us marriage counseling? No, this is not just with marriage. This is with everybody. No, for real. This is with, if you are supposed to check it out, it's any and all form of communication. All right. Um, it is um, a mother with her child whether it's a son or a daughter. It's the same thing with a father and his child, whether it's be a son or a daughter. It's a conversation between friends, brothers, sisters, church members, even pastor, right? Now, there are other things to consider, but I'm only dealing with just this one part. If we solve this one little part, I promise you, it will heal a lot of things. One heart at a time that's what it is called 
Now, when you put two art out there, you know what that call now? It turned out into be a argument. Big everlasting quarrel and argument. Because you are hurting and you decide to express yourself. It is not received because them decide to express themselves too. And what it says is that you are not listening to me. Mm -hmm. And everybody wants to be heard. And if you just listen, sometimes I didn't have a sense of inner. When you listen, you know, I found out that the biggest secret is that I am not smarter than anybody else. It's just while the person is talking, I'm praying. You understand? Yeah, I pray because I can't fix it, but Jesus can. And the Holy Spirit can give me ideas and wisdom as to how to talk to you and what to do to solve the problem. But listening is something that is very difficult to do because it's hard to look at another person's issue without seeing your own. And you'll be tempted to put your own heart on the table to not do it. I know your time, your time soon come. You know, this will help any form of relationship. Any form of relationship. You know, while I'm talking like this, you know, I'll call this one heart at a time. It's simple. One heart at a time. It's not every time somebody wants to express themselves. Sometimes people hide it. You know, they hide the hidden chapters. They hide it. But when they are really, truly ready to put their heart on the table, be very gentle with it. Because heart, think of it, you know, heart is way inside of your chest, protected by the big bone of the leg, like the sternum, and then a whole rib cage cover around it, you know. Then they have some other muscles and, and tissues around it to protect it, you know. It is very, very tender. So when somebody finally go in and take it out and rest it before you and I express themselves, got to be careful. Sometimes it express where love is concerned and somebody express express their love to you and express them. If you're gonna let down somebody be very tender, be very gentle in letting it letting them down. You know. One heart at a time, not you. Sure. Yep. Sometimes when I hear the issue of other people, <laughs> something I wanna say, hold on, I that you lose your hair over. You wanna hear a chapter out of my life. Just one you'd have run all your teeth them would have drop out not just your hair but I've got the grace each person is given grace for the journey that they're on so them only have a bump on them hand but they get the grace for that bump them don't get the grace for your mountain and your mountain that you have you have received grace look at me a handsome is a shame like I now carry nothing because I've received grace. I've been given grace to deal with difficult people. I have been given grace to carry a church through pandemic. I have given been given grace to operate with low finances. I have been given the grace to do this. So I can't use me to judge you. You have been given grace to deal with the devil upon your level. Ah, this is a good one. Father, give them grace. Strengthen their grace. Build their confidence. And whatever they are going through, it will not break them, but it will make them. God bless you. It's another episode of This Is My Day. I trust you enjoy these things. Pass it all over the place. And YouTube, if you got this off the YouTube, just press the like button because it helps us. Amen. May God bless you. We'll be talking. See you tomorrow.